Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch um, second generation. As you can see I have the volume buttons over here and everything. Um, uh, SB on firmware 2.2.1. Right there, mine's already jailbroken, but uh show you how to do it. And it also requires no restoring. I want to go ahead and restore it just to get it fresh and then jailbreak it to show you that it does work. So, um... Once this finishes restoring, I will be back and I will show you how to jailbreak it. <clears throat> Alright guys, so now it's done. It asked me to set my iPod and it's even asking me to edit the home screen. That's right when you first restored it. I haven't even done anything to it yet. You know, no music or anything. Not even any Wi-Fi yet. Alright, Sue. So, I will go ahead and set it up as a new one. Oh, here it is. Let me name it here. Okay. Alright, there we go. Um, software version 2.2.1. Two .2 and I'll prove to you it on here too. 2.2.1 okay so now what you need to do is exit out of iTunes and um, I'll put a link over there in the description the video description whatever um, to download this little thing called Red Snow um, it's not, this is the untethered version, it's like a whole different version of the original one, with all that rebooting, mess up stuff, whatever. So, um, yeah, this is different. Um, don't click on it, because it'll just load up with a thing you don't want yet. So, um, but what you want to do with your iPod here is turn it off, make sure it's still plugged in. You're going to put it in a DFU mode, most of you have probably heard that word like a zillion times. It's the magic mode of jailbreaking. So before I do, let me show you what you're going to do. Hold down the home and power for about 10 seconds. But turn the volume on your computer almost all the way up. You'll hear a little chime from your computer. And then you'll let go once you hear that. And then you'll hear it again the second time. So 10 seconds, these two, let go. Keep holding home for another like around 10, maybe 8. Usually I hear the chimes both times. But if you don't hear it, it's not a big deal. Um, just You just mostly hear it the second time. But I've had some troubles when it's in DFU mode or not getting into there. It usually takes me a couple of tries or the thing will crash. I mean, just put it in DFU mode and get in and try it again. I mean, it's not perfect, but whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. Alright, see there wasn't a chime from my computer. Maybe that's... Alright, there it was. And then you don't have to count the second time. Just hold it down to here like something. Alright, whatever. It's probably been 10 seconds. It'll just say found new hardware. You want it to... Um, your iPod to have a black screen. Nothing there. Right, let's see if it works. Go ahead and click on the red snow. Uh, see, it'll say DFU mode connected successfully if it worked. So usually, like, oh, you know, let me try to turn it back on. Sick. Again. Usually, like, I'll reboot it, and then while it's in the middle of rebooting, I'll do a DFU mode. I think it worked. Just try it twice. Yeah, your iTunes should pop up, say it's in recovery mode, but it's DFU mode. Black screen, so this should work now. Yep, DFU mode successful right there. It'll just have all this stuff go down like 100%, done, whatever, 9, it'll just go down like 10 different things. It'll have the little percentage. It'll say when it's done or 100%.
your iPod should have a white screen. Make sure it's also plugged in. Here's your iPod. There we go, it's doing a bunch of stuff. Here's your iPod. See, that's not good. Whenever, this barely even happens to me, but whenever I decide to do a video, it happens. It may not happen for you, but just because it adds me, it doesn't. So what this happens, just like a blue screen, put into DFU mode again. Usually this doesn't happen twice in a row, but you'll get it to work eventually. Right. Let's try this one more time. You know, I'm not even gonna mess with iTunes. Let's see if it works. You don't even click out iTunes. Maybe that's what's happening. I've done this like 500 times, so I know what I'm doing. It just isn't always reliable. Right, there we go. And now it's going to work. Yes. When that pops up, you know it's working for sure. This is how it used to be on like the first generation. Um, like 2.1 jailbreaking with like quick pwn or something. That's what it has. And it has that little pineapple running away or whatever. It's like the exact same thing from that. Alright, when that exits itself out, you'll get a little spinning wheel with that thing. And then you're good to go. And I can next out of iTunes, all that stupid stuff. Alright, so I don't need my computer anymore. <laughs> Whatever. Here's that running pineapple dude. And this won't take very long. Just go ahead and fast forward through the video. I'm going to be totally silent until it starts rebooting. Actually, until when it turns on. Alrighty, here we go. You have your still 2.2.1 iPod Touch with second generation. Um, here, let me go over here. Alright, there we go, 2.2.1. And there is Cydia. It doesn't give you install or IC or anything. You can just get this from Cydia. I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi to show you that it works. Let me type in my password here. And here we go. Here is Cydia. And there you go. That's how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G No Restore.